Stewart transformed The Daily Show into what I call a cultural touchstone. You should say it will be an end of an era. He's still there, although right. he's often uh, jokes that he's a fake newsman. It's safe to say that there is a generation of people out there who got their news from Jon Stewart. So who will replace him? Well, we're going to ask Elizabeth Wagmeister. She is a TV writer for Variety. Welcome. You know you're in L.A. when you haven't even announced that you're leaving when we're already talking about who's next. Right. Already on to the next one. So, Jon Stewart, of course, huge shoes to fill. Uh, Comedy Central, they're very sad to see him leave, but mm -hmm. it's been a long time. So, there's no formal search yet, but there are some names being thrown around. So, of course, got to start in the Daily Show pool. So, a great choice uh, that Look they will him. certainly so be. Long ago. Be looking so young. Uh, look a great young. choice they'll certainly be looking at is Samantha B. She's actually the longest running correspondent currently on The Daily Show. She's been on since 2003, and she's gone through three election cycles with Stewart. Now, and going, Jason Jones, her husband. Exactly. So that brings up a good point. You never know. They could have both of them oh. take the seat. That hasn't been done before, but Stewart is, you know, he has big mm -hmm. shoes to fill, so maybe it needs two people. You really never know. Shoes. It's kind of nice, though, that they're looking within. If they it, are looking within. Right. But <laughs> I also think that they could be looking without. But another great person uh, within the family is Jessica Williams. Now, she is fantastic. I love her. She joined the show in 2012. And the only thing that some people are saying, she's very young. She's only 25 years old. So I, I agree. It's like, who cares? She's good. She's a great right. fan base. Uh, now, Comedy Central, they will certainly be looking at women because the lack of females in the late night game. Right. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that there will for sure be one. But Jessica would certainly fit that bill. Uh, she has a huge fan base. Another one, Amy Schumer. These are women. A, these are women. Uh, she is in the late night pool. Uh, now, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. Big gets for them, but they would definitely bring in viewers. There's no doubt about it that everybody loves watching them. They've I, got a lot on their plate. They do. I can't see them dropping their multi-million dollar you know, movie roles and screen... I mean, she, but John Stewart was making multi-million, so right. it's right. not to say they won't get. So that's my next question. Money talks. How much is the <laughs> John Stewart is the highest-paid late-night host, mm -hmm. right? Tops everyone, uh, making anywhere it's estimated between twenty-five and thirty million. So how much of the show is John Stewart, and how much of the show is The Daily Show and interchangeable with and, hosts? Yeah. Because it does have an incredible staff with incredible writers, but he brought so much of himself to this show. Right, absolutely. Well, I mean, whoever comes in, it's going to be tough to find the next John Stewart, but Variety actually spoke with the president of Comedy Central before that he formally announced that he'd be retiring from the show, and they said, you know, the show is an institution. It's yeah. definitely going to be continuing, and we have no doubt about it. We'll look at the talent. It's going to be very sad to see him go, but we'll be able to find someone. And I say if Amy Poehler can do it, then she could fit the bill. What about Joel mm -hmm. McHale? Joel, I love Joel McHale. So Joel McHale, host of The Soup, he's already carrying his own show. Uh, there's no doubt about it. He can get through the headlines in a funny manner. Whether yeah. uh, he does more pop culture, not the politics. He's got the but suits already. Exactly. You know? He has the suits. And, you know, Community, it's going into its last and final sixth season, which is a surprise. It's on Yahoo's screen. He'll have some more time. He's a busy guy. He's in demand. But he's not on a series anymore. So. Joel McHale would be a good one, too. And Chris Hardwick? Chris Hardwick, absolutely. So he's another one in the Comedy Central family. Mm -hmm. uh, now, one of the things that I'm hearing, people think he may not fit the bill because he kind of positions himself as a fan of the fans. He hosts At Midnight, which is Comedy Central's late night show, and he also hosts The Talking Dead, which is The Walking Dead's after show, which has mm -hmm. astronomical ratings. So he knows how to bring in the fans, but people are wondering, can he fit the bill of doing politics even if it's, you know, fake news? You know, at the end of the day, I think it is a, a lot about the host itself. I mean, he, John Stewart, smart, witty, funny. Um, you have to have all of those sort of elements to make right. it work. Right. I mean, we are completely replaceable and relying on a teleprompter. But for that show, Obviously. you have to have the, <laughs> the interview that. chops, too, because he's had some real newsmakers on that show that he's taken to task. Absolutely. And, you know, I keep bringing up Amy Poehler and Tina Fey. Um, like you said, they have a lot to do, so mm -hmm. who knows if this would actually be viable. But, you know, Amy Poehler, she did Weekend Update. She knows how to get through those headlines. She knows how to that's interview true. people. They so both did it now, which is a grueling schedule. You're going minority or female somewhere in that direction. I think that's what we need. That I mean, especially there is a lack of women in the late night game. So right. I think there's no that's doubt about right, it. That's right, Elizabeth. That's what they're looking at right now. <laughs> so good to see you here. You too. You too. Great seeing you guys. Thanks, Elizabeth. Feminize our newscast. <laughs> Elizabeth Wagmeister. Check her out. Variety.